Good afternoon, everyone. It is another magical day at the Transportation and Ticket Center, making our way to the Magic Kingdom now. Several things on our mind today. First one, Halloween merchandise. David and I heard that it is already the boo to you kind of day. We're also gonna try the corn dogs. It's supposed to be kind of like a loaded corn dogs. Sounds super good. We we're about to get off at the Magic Kingdom, but we have not been able to get out. The doors are not opening. They're backing up and going forward a little bit, probably just getting us settled, but we've been standing here for about 45 seconds. We'll see. Okay, not a little bit of a technical difficulty with the monorail right here. We're having an issue with the parking plate, that's what she told us. So we're just I mean, one of the doors open here. Oh, there you go. You know there we go. Okay. The monorails are a classic icon at Walt Disney World. I love them. I do still think they should be replaced with new ones because we're in need of new ones. We've had these for a long, long time. They're great, but new ones would also be great. Look at all the pumpkins you have up here. You've got the uh, fire hydrant right there. You've got the patches. You've even got a Dalmatian right there. There's even a restroom one. You see that one? There's a restroom pumpkin. Now David and I are going to take a closer look at all of the Halloween decorations later on, but now we're making our way through the Emporium, take a quick look at merchandise. We're going to again do a full review of merchandise later on and then make our way to Casey's Corner for those loaded corn dogs. Do you remember that old commercial where Mickey and Donald were like stocking the shelves? Really, really old, like 90s commercial. They would stock the shelves and Mickey would have like all the Mickey set up and Donald would like knock all the Mickey oh, plushes yeah. off and then just put the Donald plushes yes. up. I feel like this is the spot for it. Scrooge right there and Hugh, Dewey and Louie. White Rabbit? Okay, yeah. Wally and Eva, that's another great one right there. Novelty socks, $11 each when you buy two. $14.99 if you buy just one. So definitely uh, inspired to buy two if you uh, buy the specialty socks here. I think my favorite are the black and white ones. Oh gosh, with Mickey and Minnie. So you've got Mickey, Minnie right there. Look Those are that. my favorite. Oh wait, oh that's great. The, jaw, the bridge right there. Yeah. That is awesome. Here they are, the loaded corn dog nuggets. You got corn dog nuggets topped with cheese sauce, chili lime seasoning, sliced jalapenos, diced tomatoes, garlic ranch, corn chips, green onions for $10.99. Definitely gotta try that. The line for Casey's Corner always seems to be going out the door. It's not as bad as it was moments ago, but David and I decided to mobile order and pay. It just makes so much more sense. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of water. It's out seconds later. Take a look at the loaded corn dog nuggets from Casey's Corner. Relatively new option. Bon appetit. The corn dog alone is fantastic. How much the loaded amount adds to it, in my opinion, is questionable. Yeah. But I still love the corn dogs. So the corn dogs by themselves are great too. Is it worth it for the loaded? I need another one for that. Jalapeno adds. But I think you can get jalapeno at the, the side area. That's true. I feel like it could use more of the loadedness. Yeah, it could. It could be even more loaded. It's unloaded right now. It's unloaded. It needs to be reloaded. Maybe half loaded right now. More onion, more jalapeno. Maybe we can put more on top. Before we do that, let's give the, what is this again? The chili cheese fries. Chili cheese fries. From Casey's Corner. Let's give them a try. Totally agree with you. Yeah. They are good. And I feel like these are better than most things I've had here at Casey's Corner. I have not been amazed by Casey's Corner. Really? I have not been blown away. Most of the things here I felt like have been okay. So maybe we'll keep trying. But these are maybe one of the best things I've had here. But definitely beach and cream takes a leap. It goes to show everybody has a different taste because there's food for every taste bud at Walt Disney World. Don't know if I would get these again. Would you? As opposed to regular fries, I probably would. You would. But it's, it's, it's nothing to write home about. I fully agree with that. I would actually get regular fries. Really? With just ketchup and mayo. And I know mayo is gross for some on fries, but ketchup, barbecue sauce. Yeah, regular fries I think I'd prefer. These are great too as you're seeing I'm eating them, but I would prefer regular fries. Last but not least, the lemonade mint julep. I'm not sure how new it is, but it was at Casey's Corner. I had never tried it before. I wanted to give it a try. It does remind me of the mint julep we had near the beignets yep. in Disneyland. Yep. So that's pretty good. Okay. Again, for Casey's Corner, somewhere I haven't been super impressed by, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. We'll give it a try. Oh, I love that. I love it. I will get this again. Yeah, it's, to me this is a much better blend of lemonade and mint julep than we had at Disneyland. That's, that's my personal opinion. I, I really like this one. I need another sip. I think that the mint julep here is truly fantastic. Does it compare to the mint julep like by itself at Disneyland? No. But it's as close as you can get that I have found at Disney World. So, Casey's Corner, big winner for me, David. It's it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So I would get the corn dog nuggets probably without the loaded, 
And I would get the fries probably without the chili. I would get the mint julep before either of those. That's how good this is to me. David and I added a few extra jalapenos and onions on there. It definitely adds, in my opinion, but I feel like ketchup or mustard would add even more. Very better. impressive. Love that plastic wheel. This is so cute. This little girl had the Hana dress on, and the pianist changed the song to let it go. Unbelievable. So cute. Wow. Just managed to find a Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin Fast Pass. Let's go experience it. Fantastic. You know, I've seen it before, but never really appreciated the background view that Buzz has. He just turns around and he's looking out into open space. That, that's cool. I like that. It's pretty awesome. I'll remain here at Star Command to coordinate this. We're in the first room. Robots behind us and David got Galactic Hero. I don't think I've ever done that. Nice. That's so impressive. Nice. That is unbelievable. Galactic <laughs> Hero in the first room. What? I had a good shot. Of wow. What did I tell you about David? being good at video games. This is what I'm talking about right here. Showing me up on just a run on Buzz Lightyear. Come on. How did you do that? So close. Yes, one more. One more, one more. One more, one more, one more. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Double Galactic Hero. Take a look at that. That is awesome. You know we gotta get Galactic Hero stickers for that one. I mean, that's, okay. we gotta do it. After the dual Galactic Hero on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, we are making our way to check out some of that Halloween merchandise. Some more color changes in Tomorrowland. Take a look at the yellow, green, and orange here. Just different than what we're used to. There's some more orange up there too. No matter what happens, don't let me get a sweet treat. Because we're gonna get beignets later, right? We're going to French Quarter? Yeah. Don't, don't let me do it. I'm tempted already, don't let me do it. Seen anything super appealing yet? Dessert-wise? Not especially. Here's a quick look at some of the Halloween merchandise. I don't think it's all out yet. Just a few little things here and there. There's a ghost pillow right there. Halloween yard flag. There's a Halloween garland right here. Very cool. The Maleficent snow globe right there. Look at that. Ooh. Take a look at the Headless Horseman ornament right there. Ooh. That is so cool. $21.99. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. Look at that. So you put a candle right there and then it shines through on this side. $19.99. You see that? It's flashing. Can you see it flashing? Oh, you sure can. That's great. I really like that one. $34.99. I love the light up hats. Take a look at the Mickey pumpkin right there. Happy Halloween 2019. $24.99. Take a look at this one. I'm pretty sure it's a candle warmer, but I'm not 100% sure. The back is open, so I imagine you put like a candle on there and maybe a something underneath to heat it up. I have no idea. I just know it's super cool. $27.99. Look at this potion jaw mug right there. That is great. Mickey and Minnie on this side. On this side you have brewing up a terrific time. $19.99. Ooh, look at this. Prepare to be scared sweatshirt with Mickey right there and on the back. Oh, that's really nice. Happy Halloween King Pup featuring the Big Bad Werewolf. There's Donald right there. That's a great sweatshirt. $49.99. Here's Zero again. Take a look at this. We saw him the other day with the cast member. You walk him around and you push a button on Zero's back probably to make him light up. I really like that. Look at Zero all lit up there with the nose too. You can walk him like with that dog, you know, walker, kind of like a leash thing, but it actually walks him too. That is awesome. Take a look at this light up Mickey pumpkin right there. That is awesome for collecting candy right there. Cost $19.99. A little bit heavy for collecting candy, but for that glowing effect, I love it. The ghost one is much lighter. A little bit scarier, but lighter. And on the back it says trick or treat. This one's $16.99. Much lighter, but between the two, even though it's heavier, I prefer that one. That, that is awesome. I mean, you put candy in here. That's how I envision it. You put candy in here and you reach in and get the candy. Candy. That is awesome, made of ceramic. $29.99. To me, this is one of the 
coolest new items they have. Halloween candy as well, like popcorn and chocolate covered pretzels, hot chocolate with marshmallows. You've got uh, Mickey's right there with candy corn inside. You've got the uh, Rice Krispie treats right here with chocolate, several of them attached together, and some more bags. For the littlest ones in your traveling party, you've got the sweatshirt right here with Mickey on the front and the ears on the hood. Yes, gotta have the ears with it. Without the ears, it's a deal breaker, but it's got the ears. This one is $46.99. Take a look at the pumpkin onesie right there for those youngest of the youngest who are celebrating Halloween, $19.99. I'm a monster at heart. I have a feeling that's going to be rather popular right there. $27.99. Candy corn ears, perfect for the Halloween time of year. Take a look at this women's shirt right here. Very cool, it costs $39.99. You're thinking to yourself, oh, that's a nice shirt with sequins right there. But watch what happens when David does this. The entire pumpkin comes to life. That is awesome. I love the idea. These uh, sequin, I don't know, changing color ones are really cool and getting popular. Another one for women here. Take a look at the ghosts and Mickey pumpkins and skeletons right there. The back, it has kind of that open back look. $34.99. Those are nice pajama pants right there. Again, with that same design, Mickey and the pumpkin and the ghost right there. $39.99. Take a look at the Oogie Boogie necklace right there. The entire thing lights up. That is super cool. And you can change the designs as David's doing right there. In addition to Oogie Boogie, you've also got Jack Skellington all lit up at night. That'll look super good on Halloween. Oogie Boogie costs $17 with taxes. Good to know. Can't forget plushes for Halloween. You've got Chippendale. I'm guessing this is Dr. Frankenstein and Frankenstein. I mean, Doctor, right? And then you, I feel like, isn't that Frankenstein? I, I don't know. I have no idea. You've got Minnie as the witch. I think she was a witch last year as well. Very nice. Mickey, and what is Mickey? Oh, Mickey's a vampire. Take a look. He's got his teeth right there, too. That's Mickey vampire teeth cape and everything. I think Pluto Mummy is my favorite. That is so cool. $21.99. He's got kind of the, uh, the headband there too and he's totally wrapped. <laughs> that is awesome. David, what do you think of all the merchandise here for Halloween? This is my favorite. Is it? Yeah, this is my favorite. You okay. put candy in here. You take candy. I mean, come on, that's that's awesome. So you like the Batman-shaped Mickey hole. It's not bad. It's Batman. Batman, right? Look that's at that. Not, that's He's not a bat. Batman. That's barely Batman. It's just the teeth. Ah, uh, that's wow. My favorite piece of merchandise. There were a lot that I liked. Okay. I like the Oogie Boogie necklace. I like that sweatshirt a lot too. That oh, was the really design cool on the back, yeah. Yeah. And the plushies were great too. Yeah. I like Chip and Dale. Pluto was great. Yes, Pluto. Yeah, those are those are some of the best, I think. Okay, now we're headed off to try the seasonally appropriate pumpkin beignets from Borderlands French Quarter. Yeah. Walking along here near the line to Goofy's Barnstormer. Look what I saw. Unbelievable sights of the construction for the Tron light cycle ride. Let's zoom in here. Unbelievable to see it in progress. You see the Tron light cycle now programming sign in front of the construction. There's kind of like a tube that's beginning right as it takes off, or maybe that's the exit, hard to know. But those tracks are coming along extremely quickly. You can see some of the banks and turns. They go up and down and over. I personally cannot wait to experience this. David, what do you think? Super excited? It looks super exciting. Definitely excited for it. Love to see some new coasters. Reminds me of Space Mountain a little bit, just from the tracks. I think it's going to be a great one. Yeah, especially at night. That's the one that I'm like ultra excited about. I find it funny that we came in here simply look at Halloween merchandise and the decorations. It's great. Now we're making our way to Port Orleans, a French Quarter, for that pumpkin beignet. As we're making our way out, we're saying hi to Tigger and Pooh. Hey there, good to see you guys. We'll definitely come back and get some late night shots, but there's one of the Mickey pumpkins lit up as the sun is beginning to set. As we were making our way out, we stopped by the confectionery, and I'm so glad we did because we're finding interesting Rice Krispie treats and even a Jack Skellington mini. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jack Skellington holding his bed at this time with candy inside. Very cool. At night, the sea real soon also lights up. Oh wow. It's really nice. Can't believe it, we're so close to the silver monorail and they've closed it off. We'll catch it at some point, we will. This I don't quite understand. We were actually standing out here. Silver monorail has plenty of room left over with open seats too. There are seats open right there, but they wouldn't let anyone else get on board. Maybe someone can explain that one to me. I, I just don't understand it. All right, silver monorail. 
We'll catch you at some point. The bridge that they're building right here near the Grand Floridian. Make that walkway all the way around. It's gonna be so cool to see. Sun setting over our shoulder, making our way to the tram, then the car, then Port Orleans French Quarter. See you there. Just in time for the fall, we've made it to Port Orleans French Quarter for those pumpkin beignets. You got that shrimp po' boy if you're still hungry. Are you still hungry? You could eat. I'm not especially hungry, but I do love the po' boy. Would you split one? I would. I think it's gonna be a po' boy to split and the uh, pumpkin beignet. Problem is with the beignet, we wanna have it super hot. That's true. So maybe we'll like get back in line for the beignet. Or maybe we can do the beignets and see how hungry we are. Let's see how things look in the kitchen. Okay, okay. Beignet cheeseburger. Come on, we, we gotta do it. I mean, maybe not today, but we'll be back to get it. That looks amazing, doesn't it? It sounds so good. Bacon jam. Bacon jam. Creole cheese steak po boy. Uh, we may have just changed our mind. Uh, David just found the seasonal beignet Sunday. And there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That looks incredible. Yeah, it does. Wow. Skip the po' boy. <laughs> I think we're gonna skip it. Skip the po' boy. We can skip it. We can skip the po' boy and okay. get the Sunday. Okay, fine. Okay. All right. But the question is, should we get the Sunday or should we get the just beignets by themselves? I don't know. That is a good question. Pumpkin spice beignets, vanilla ice cream, cranberry compote, whipped cream, and fall sprinkles. I guess we can try the Sunday. Sunday it is. All right. Going right in the fryer. They're going to be super hot when we get it. Oh, the ice cream too. That's going to be a really interesting flavor. I'm super excited about this. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Gingerbread in November. Spoilers right there. Beignet by itself first? Yeah, by yeah. beignet by itself. That sounds perfect. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. David's grabbing spoons really quick, but take a look at that pumpkin that's spice Sunday. That is unbelievable. We had the uh, cookies, and, no cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, ice cream in there, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and the pumpkin spice beignet. Wow. We're trying the pumpkin spice beignet by itself. I feel like it's not as flavorful of pumpkin spice as I was expecting. Yes. It's, it's good, you know, a little bit of pumpkin spice flavoring at the top. But beyond that, I feel like it could be a little bit more flavorful. We got whipped cream falling here, so I'm gonna scoop that and eat that. But the chocolate, for example, overpowers it for me. It did, okay. Let, let me try it like with the ice cream. Yeah. With the ice cream and the pumpkin spice beignet. Definitely makes for a good sundae. Oh yeah. Sundae is solid. The idea of a beignet sundae with the pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Somehow the pumpkin spice, I was expecting it to be like mind-blowingly amazing, mm -hmm. but it turned out to be like just a very subtle hint of pumpkin in there. Mostly just the standard beignet. Yeah. A little bit thicker than usual. Mm -hmm. I feel like the standard beignets are a little bit thinner and I like them thinner. Yeah. But this is really good too. I probably wouldn't get it every time though. Even yeah. in the season. I'd probably choose sometimes for it. But probably most of the times I would say the standard beignet for me, personally. Agreed. They're playing music live here at French Quarter. We'll definitely come back for more of it in the future. After a truly incredible day, we are making our way back to the car to head on home. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.